Hey YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to have total object manipulation. And uh, what I mean by that is pretty much you can just do crazy stuff like you can rotate objects in like any way like this. Uh, you can stretch things out and you can make them smaller and bigger without getting distorted. And uh, also how you can make uh, power-ups that don't look ridiculous so like if you have ever tried to make an object into a power-up then it looks like this crap uh, I'm gonna show you how to make it actually look correct okay so and also how to kind of fix weird crap like this there you go anyway so uh, what this is is it's pretty much a mixture of th these three glitches the floating emitter the uh, the twist glitch and the layer tweaker. Now I already have tutorials on how to uh, get these tools and like how to make these two and where to get this one. Um, so I'm gonna have a link like in the cards, like in the little eye in the top corner of the screen and in the description of uh, those three videos I've already made. Um, but this video is showing you how to mix those together and also kind of what what's different about them in Little Big Planet 3. Okay, so um, first I'm going to show you how to uh, do this thing. Uh, this is just the twist glitch, but kind of extending it. So I'm going to get an object. Uh, let's see, let's get a speaker. So in order to twist it multiple times, all you have to do is uh, you want to copy the twist glitch. Uh, I already have the tutorial on how to make and use this um, already, so watch that if you haven't already. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to copy this twice and say we want to make this face down and to the right. Uh, what you do is you turn this upside down with the grid and uh, just do the glitch as usual to get it on the first rotation and then you stop wherever you want and you can also go back and get precise of what exactly you want uh, so once this is done delete this one and with this one you want to just do it again and just twist it again so you can just use this to twist objects in multiple directions and there you go, you have a uh, speaker that is like at a downward angle and you can get some sick beats going. Okay, so that's how to do that. Um, to stretch out objects, uh, what you want to do is you want to merge the twist glitch with the floating emitter. And uh, pretty much uh, what you want to do is Okay, so the floating emitter uh, is cool because it allows you to uh, resize objects, um, like any object, even like uh, entrances and stuff like that. Uh, but it also allows you to uh, change objects like forwards. So you can change like the z-axis of objects. Um, so say you want to make this soda thicker then you just uh, do the glitch it looks kind of weird because it's supposed to be crushed but uh, yeah I already explained this in the tutorial but I'm gonna show you how to use this with the twist glitch for a really cool effect okay so I'm going to find an object um, let's see Okay, so, okay, um, here's a book right here. So, say this is the perfect book you want for your level. It's all perfect and everything, but it's just too thick. So, you can actually do, uh, you can fix that with this glitch, or these glitches. So, what you want to do is you want to just take the twist glitch, and, uh, so what we want to do is we want to squish it. So, we need to get this part that we want to change, like the axis that we want to change, um, which is the y-axis. We have like 
x axis y axis and then z axis so we want to change the y axis of this uh, thing so what you want to do is um, so if you want to make this uh, book shorter what you want to do is you want to use the twist glitch and you want to uh, twist it um, downward so that the top of oops, whoops. Or I guess either way would work but I think it'll look better like this so you want to twist it so the axis that you want to change is on the Z axis um, so like this the Z axis or the Y axis is now the Z axis so now you can just use the uh, uh, floating emitter in the tutorial I already explained how to use that kind of stuff and there you go it's a thinner book it's kind of hard to see but looks good so I'm going to I rotate it a little bit so I'm gonna fix that and I'm just gonna get a new um, twist glitch and I'm going to just twist it back to where it was and when you do that um, it'll actually be thinner and it'll actually show in the uh, the hitbox too so it's actually we just took the object and literally just squished it so here's the original and here's the one that we changed cool okay so now you know how to kind of squish objects in any way and now I'm going to show you how to resize objects uniformly. Uh, so this is kind of easier in Little Big Planet 2 with the layer, like the physical layers. We kind of have to use a workaround in, in Little Big Planet 3 because of the way they changed layers. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so let's see. So say we have a, a soccer ball. So if you've ever tried to resize a soccer ball in Little Big Planet, you know what happens. It just gets, it turns into this disgusting thing. <laughs> because when you resize objects, it only changes the uh, X and Y axis. And it leaves the Z axis hanging. And the reason they do that is so that the layers are still accurate. But since we can change the layers, kind of, uh, it doesn't matter. So if we want to actually have this soccer ball look decent, then we can take the floating emitter. And if you select both of these and you just resize it normally, but select it with the emitter, it actually resizes correctly. So this is like actually still round, which is really cool. <clears throat> so now we have this ball that's actually decent but when you try to kick it you realize that you can actually hit it from more angles than you want to so like you can kind of jump into it even though it's not there so to fix that um, in Little Big Planet 2 you can just use the layer tweaker uh, to actually change the thickness of the hitbox but in little big plant 3 we kind of have to do a workaround but it still works pretty much just as good so what you want to do is you want to get a material similar to the kind of texture of what you're doing and you want to just encase it in that material and then you want to place a piece of that material behind it so you want to take this uh, material surrounding the ball and you just want to uh, detach it, copy it, and then kind of cut it out of the material in the back and then delete the excess. So now you can delete this one and we have a perfect recreation of the the ball's uh, hitbox. Okay, so now uh, we can use the new tools of Little Big Planet 3 to help us kind of merge these together. So use the de-physicalize tool on the object and you can move the material into place 
And now what you want to use is the opacity tweaker. So here's this. So we just place it on there and make it zero. And now make sure to glue these together. And there you go. You have a ball that is actually correct and that Sackboy can run around and hit. Okay, so that's how you resize objects. Um, kind of the same thing with making it bigger. Uh, just make the material that's like the hitbox bigger and you can resize it all the same. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use these to make uh, to make power-ups that actually look decent or out of objects. So uh, for this one, so we have Mr. Punch Puppet here, but we want to hold him. So all we have to do to get that to work is we just use the uniform scale of the uh, floating emitter and it's pretty much just that. You just resize it using that and when you capture it and uh, here, let me find a blaster handle. I still don't really know where things are on the poppet yet, <laughs> which is sad. Okay, mm, can't see. Here we go. So just place the thing. There you go. And now we have a holdable punch puppet. And there you go. Yay. Okay, so now <clears throat> uh, this thing was shown in I think a trailer or something I don't know I remember seeing footage of this fork with this chicken uh, an endorsement for Little Big Planet 3 but if you actually try to do that this is what happens like it the fork is like behind the chicken and it's just no good so if you want to uh, actually have this work um, I know in the promo thing the chicken was actually a decoration, which obviously it isn't, so deceptive. But uh, to make this actually work, uh, what you want to do is you want to just uh, copy it over. And I want to, it's a little big. Those are just the objects as they come out of the poppet. So it's a little big. So I want to resize it and I don't want to distort it. So I just want to use this. Uh, this emitter here there you go now to get the chicken on the actual fork uh, you want to use the layer tweaker now in little big plant 3 like I said the layer tweaker isn't as useful as 2 however it is useful for kind of shuffling layers kind of it's really weird uh, or you'll you'll get it in a second so this is a thin fork it goes in front and behind the chicken so if we want to get this in a layer then all we have to do is just use the layer tweaker select them both and just re uh, change the layer of it and in little egg plant 2 this would actually make this a thick layer uh, but in 3 it's still a thin layer but it is in the thick layer it's kind of weird um, but yeah, you can actually see it's hitting the chicken now. And to get uh, these to fit together, we can just use the de-physicalizer once again. Still can't find things in the poppet. And just shove it in there, glue it, and boom. You have yourself a skewed chicken. So get yourself a blaster handle and put that on there capture it and here you go you have yourself a good skewed chicken and it's all holdable and whatnot okay so hope you enjoyed the video uh, uh, sorry if it was really long and kind of complicated or hard to follow I haven't made a video in a while obviously so yeah I um, hope you enjoyed this video uh, Comment, rate, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Glitchmaster7. Okay, goodbye.